What is up, everybody of GSA? Welcome back to our final race of the night for the Celeste Any Percent League Season 2. My name is Zojalix, and I'm here joined with my bro, Dave Stereo. And we're here to bring you guys an awesome race between Chai Kitty and Fladervi. Chai Kitty being the fourth place finisher in Season 1, and Flad being the third place finisher in Season 1. How you feeling for this race, Dave? Uh, this one is going to be so hype, dude. You know, currently on the leaderboards, we got ranks three and four against each other. So they're neck and neck. And uh, we're going to be seeing everything in this race because I, I think both players know the kind of strats that they're going to have to go for in order to beat the other person. So they're going to be going for everything this time. Definitely. And it's going to be really cool, especially looking back to the group stages of season one. Chai Kitty fell short against Flad at pace. So I know I don't remember what the final tally was on that, but uh, whether it was a 2 1 or a 3 0. But I do know that Chai Kitty will be looking for some revenge in this, knowing that he was unable to come up with the win against Flad. And so he will be looking at potentially changing that. Also, looking at uh, Chai, he pulled out a 2808 last week in his race against Marlin, which is a very, very impressive time for the first week. And oh, Flad taking a death right off the bat. I, th I think he uh, didn't get enough height on his reverse hyper, and he landed on the spikes. So yeah, he's going to be falling behind a little bit here in the beginning. Yeah, Chai having a pretty good chapter one so far. Flat's nailing that corner boost. Love seeing that corner boost off that zipper block. Yeah, definitely. Oh, heck. And then we got Chai. Chai coming up to the spike jump. Nice lineup. Nice. There we go. Hopefully he can hit this angle dash wall jump. Oh, oh! does he get the angle dash? Gets that misdirect. Oh, and he misses it again! It's an opportunity for Flat. It's gonna make up for that death. And just like that. 138 Flat. And just like that, Flat is in the lead by about two seconds. Or no. Flat's behind by two seconds. You no, know, Flat at a 136, Chai at a 138. Shoot, I forgot how time works. I totally <laughs> forgot how time works. Okay, my brain is not working. But all right, chapter two, let's see it. Yeah, definitely. So, yeah, right there, just missing those angle dashes twice in that uh, screen is gave Flad the direction that he needed to get the lead. So we're getting a quick sync up here. Shoutouts to the GSA staff for keeping up with all of that. They do a phenomenal job with everything that they do. And so, you know, looking at this race, already we've seen some hiccups from both runners, Flad taking a death and then Chai missing the angle dashes in the second to last screen of City. See, maybe the nerves have calmed down because so far, you know, so far at least, uh, both players having a really good chapter two as they move on to the battle and chase. Yeah, definitely playing very well. And now, uh, so again, you know, uh, one thing for runners to notice, first of all, this match was pre-recorded with uh, Vlad being from Brazil. They have, to, they all work together to try and get the best time zones that they can for their matches. So this match is pre-recorded. Um, and then as well, uh, oh no! Vlad took a death early on in the screen. So that will be an opportunity for Chai Kitty to take the lead. It looks like things have evened up here. Both players can be approaching the awake section at the same time. Or this isn't the awake yet, but you know they're leaving the battle and chase at the same time. Getting through these stream blocks. No real chance of death here. This race is neck and neck. Flad looking at just maybe even less than a second of a lead. You know, another thing for runners to note is Flad is playing on a different language, and with this game, it makes absolutely no difference. So Chai taking a little bit of a nod of approval from that, taking a 145. You know, you can see he's he's a little he's feels a little bit better about that. Uh, yeah, chapter two was okay. It was okay. You know. Yeah, he's like, you know, I'll take it. I'll take it. But all right, onwards to chapter three now. 
And so again, chapter three, we've got Demo Dash coming up uh, near the end of the chapter. So that will be something for the audience to take a look for. We've seen a couple of different runners opting for different methods of it. Some of them are going for the ch taking the checkpoint for safety. And uh, we saw TGH in his race against Marlin today. He did not opt for the checkpoint. And oh, Chai kind of falling a little bit having to now take the death cycle on there, which is going to allow for Flad's lead to expand a little bit more. Flad looking at about a four second lead. I've got a really strong feeling that Flad is not gonna be going for the checkpoint. I'm not sure if Chai's gonna be going for it, but for some reason I have a strong feeling Flad's not gonna go for it. I don't know, It honestly, it could go either way. I could see both of them doing both for a lot of different reasons. So it will be uh, very interesting to see how these runners play out their demo dash. Uh, Chai, you see Chai ahead, but if you look up, the IGTs are a little bit decent. Ooh, Chai missing the cutscene skip there. So that is still going to be, a, I couldn't quite tell to see what the lead is. We'll have to see on this next cutscene skip. Yeah, looking at about like three seconds or so. Uh, 450, four, five second lead for flat. Okay. okay. Moving on to the boxes section. Both of them do playing this really well. Oh, Chai Kitty kind of stumbling on the crate there. Needs to do a second try spike jump, but is able to get it. Still about a five second difference between the two runners. You know, I'm still just waiting for that one moment for something to shift because they're at a point where they're so close and we've seen so many good races yeah, where... Uh, go ahead. I know, I was just going to say, like, they've been so close at this point. What, what's going to be the room that splits them apart? Ooh, Flad kind of stumbling a little bit on the books there. That is going to allow for Chai Kitty to make up a little bit of ground. 544, 541 for Flad. So we're seeing Chai only behind by about four seconds. He was able to make up about a second there. And Laundry can definitely be that section where there can be more time made up because Laundry has so many dust bunnies in it. Okay, final screen before the button for both players. Chai hits it at like a yep, 610, 607. All right, so Chai able to slowly close this gap a little bit and he's now kind of scrambling on Flad's heels. Got about a three second deficit now between Flat with Flad. Like maybe about three and a half or so, but it is still a very close race. And now we've got both runners uh, and the larger screens of this chapter. We've got uh, Chai Kitty now coming up on Demo Dash. Vlad right behind him. All right, let's see Chai going checkpoint Chai's list. Chai's going checkpoint list and he gets it. Double. Vlad goes checkpoint list as well. So that will be no time saved or lost between the two runners in their strat optimizations. They both were like, you know what? I feel comfortable enough. I can go for it. And they go for it. Chai taking a little bit. Not sure if that was a sigh of relief or like a groan of frustration. Definitely wouldn't be frustrated with the first try demo dash without a checkpoint. Oh, I know. I wouldn't be frustrated. I <laughs> definitely would take a sigh of relief myself. And so now both runners just running neck and neck coming out of chapter. Uh, looking to finish up chapter three. You know, both of these runners are two runners that have achieved 27 times. And Chai uh, slipping up a little bit on this final screen, gonna, gonna have to adjust to the new cycle. Where is Ashiro gonna be? All right, nice adjustment. Okay, 748 for Chai, 742 for Flad. Chai, not too happy with the 419. Flad coming up with a 413, so. Uh, I gotta say, you know, I love Chai's little, like, facial reactions, even though some of them are, like, him shaking his head in frustration. But he's still able to just, you know, like, I don't know, it adds so much to the race. Yeah, and it's amazing how Chai can clutch out, like, truthfully, a really amazing Chapter 3. But he knows deep down, like, what kind of time he's gonna have to have uh, to be competing with Flad. And Flad as well, he, he knows 
the kind of time that he's gonna need to compete with Chai. So, you know, they're they're both kind of uh, in the same headspace, I'm sure. Oh, Vlad. Vlad. Taking a death on this uh, bubble blocks room. Oh, Vlad kind of stumbling a little bit. Chai coming up on an Archie. Leaving the Archie room at 822. Chai might be in the lead right now. Yeah, I think Chai might have an edge. We'll have to see what happens at the end of the chapter, which obviously by that point, leads can swap. We'll see if Chai goes for the new berry strat that we've been seeing, and I don't think he is. Yeah, just going for the ultra. Save. Very smart to do since that strat has only started coming into fruition in the last week. So I can definitely respect his play. Flad going for the same not wanting to risk anything. Chai playing it very, very smooth. Flad right behind him. And yeah, Chai uh, not getting the right jump with his bunny hop, uh, trying to skip that screen below, but uh, had a nice recovery on it. Only lost a couple seconds. Flad making the same mistake, not being able to reach that top block. All right, Chai going for the coin skip, and he gets it. Nice job there from Chai Kitty. Flag coming up on the same skip, getting some bunny hops in there, getting himself psyched up. You know, I just kind of picture Mad Madeline. She's standing there, you know, jumping, probably just her, like, you know, shaking her hands out, going, oh, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this, and then she I goes for it. I just got to hurl myself into the ground about a million more times before I reach the summit. Exactly. Poor Madeline. But alrighty, onto the cliff face section. You know, we got the strong wind here. Definitely gonna be interesting to see how the runners do uh, play with this wind. I know some runners can kind of struggle with it. Uh, it doesn't really look like they struggle with it, but it the wind definitely plays a factor, especially when it switches directions here. Because you suddenly move from going at half your speed to not very fast at all. All right, so 237. 237, Chai giving his thumbs up. Very, very good time there. A 1027 from Chai. Flad right behind him. Chai has taken the lead. A 245 there and a 1029. So Chai has about a two second lead over Flad as we go into chapter five. So with that, a two second lead, even a failed yeet could switch the leads here. Really could. Let alone a bubstrop. Oh, you know, we don't even th want to think about bubstrop. I was gonna say, I was gonna say, thinking back to pace, you know, there were actually a lot of missed bubstrops at pace from both these competitors. Yeah. Uh, you know, it can happen at any time to anybody, so anything could sway this race. Yeah, and especially with knowing who you're going up against, trying to not let the nerves get to you as you go for hard tricks like the Dev's Corner Boost coming up here for Chai. Oh, and he gets a yeet, yeet, kind of half yeet. <laughs> half yeet. And uh, Flad gonna be setting up here soon. Nice reverse hyper off the button. All right, setting up for this yeet. Oh, getting that corner boost. Okay, gonna be making up some time on Chai. All right, Chai taking a death there. Not looking too thrilled with himself for this 5A. Looks like he's gonna be clocking in at just about a 110, 111. I'm oh, sorry, actually a 114. I'm really wrong. Wow. It's a 114 flat hitting this quick cycle at the end as well. Wow, a much, a lot of time saved there for Flad. And actually, Flad takes the lead now. 109 on the IL timer. That was, uh, that was pretty dang good. That was very good. And now we've got Chai Kitty coming up. Got Bubs Drop in just a few more screens. So now it'll be really interesting to see if we have any failed bubs drop attempts. Right now, Chai Kitty, a failed bubs drop is not what you want. Oh. And it's what he gets. Oh no. Oh, Flad now coming up on his first attempt at bubs drop. If Flad gets it, that would be a huge time save over Chai. And Chai fails it again. 
and flat taking it slow and is able to get it first try. That is going to be a huge time save over flat. Alrighty, Chai, th third one. Flat is pulling I ahead. Is not looking happy with himself right now. I'm not sure if it's just the nerf. Chai does, yeah, Chai does not look happy. And I'm sure the nerves just coming through with knowing, you know, you're going up against somebody who was the second person to achieve a 27, didn't record it, but, and hey, then- he, he got it again recently though. And he it was... did, he did just get it recorded. So shout outs to Flad for that. That pretty Finally monster rumble that. 27. And then you've got Chai, you know, I always love highlighting Chai because he went just expected to be in the, like, barely if he made it into top 10 at all in season one to coming out and being not only just a good runner and getting the second recorded 27, but now coming through and showing that he can race. Yeah, absolutely. You know, that, see, that that's the thing with Celeste. You know, you can get tripped up with something like Bump Drop and, uh, you know, uh, be really frustrated, but you have so much more difficult stuff to execute in the run, so your mind has to be in the right place. And, uh, you know, you're seeing Chai, you know, he seems to be maintaining his composure because, uh, you know, he he's still got half the game to play. He does. Yeah, this race is not over, even though there are only two chapters left. The run is still not even quite to the half. It's getting, it's about at the halfway point now which is crazy to think about, but Summit alone is one-third of the run. It's really crazy when you think of it like that. You know, seven chapters, but chapter seven is a third of the game. All right, it's Vlad. Absolutely finish, crazy. Finishing out chapter five, moving on to chapter six, as Chai is grabbing the heart. Vlad's got a significant lead right now over Chai. And this right now, this is Vlad's race to lose. Yeah, it's, it seems to be about a 30 second deficit or so. All right, Vlad getting that nice first try like skip. Nice. Very clean. All right, Chai Kitty with leg skip in a very fast well, one. Yeah, very well done. All right, so not not thinking we'll see any 6B. I know both of these runners have been going long enough and focusing solely on any percent versus the IL runners like we see from Aurora Dash and Psyched and Marlin, which Marlin even still doesn't pull out a 6B, but not not surprised that we're seeing two six a's coming out from these runners just to make sure that uh you know they play what they're comfortable with and who knows six b might become a lot more mainstream later on but just at this point runners are sticking with what they're comfortable with and it's very respectable definitely not wanting to pull out any unnecessary risks Oh, Flad, he dies to the spikes there. That's going to be a couple of seconds there that Chai will be able to make up for him. I think that was literally, like, the first mistake done by either player in this chapter. Like, both, both players have been playing flawlessly through this chapter six. Yeah, definitely. Very, very impressive from both of these runners. Oh, and as I say that, Chai Kitty now takes two deaths to the spikes. Hoping Chai Kitty, you know, you know, you kind of, I feel kind of bad for Chai Kitty as you look at, you know, his schedule for the first two weeks, going up against Marlin week one and now Flad week two, both extremely strong runners. And so as even though the race is not over, there's a chance, you know, Chai could come out 0-2, which would put him at quite a bit of a deficit point wise. Yeah, you know, there's a... Uh... <laughs> Pretty tough matches for Chai uh, starting things off. 
But, uh... All right, you know, both players skipping their cutscenes with Grandma. Flat having a nice dev intended uh, skips here in the ravine as Chai is about to thread the needle and do them as well. Let's see. Hey, yo, very nice from Chai. Very nice job. And Flat with the battle and boost coming up. There it is. It's good. 1708 skipping that cutscene. So, right now, we're seeing uh, 30 plus seconds. For a lead for Fl oh and Chai takes a death in this room very unexpected I think those bub drop fails just have gotten to Chai as he is just starting to really just struggle 1749 that's a 41 second lead for Flad and Flad is just playing extremely well and Chai, he, I think those bumps drop fails just got to him because he was in the lead, or at least very, very close. All the way up until bumps drop, and now you can see the look on Chai's face. I, just, he's, I don't know, he just seems to not be happy with how he's playing right now. Hopefully this battle in section can turn him around. Yeah, definitely. Let's get some love for Chai in the chat, you know. Uh, this match yeah. is recorded. And still, you know, Chai is a great runner going up against a really tough opponent. So love to see some love in the chat for Chai as he continues to finish his race, hoping to nab as many points as possible while Flad is looking at finishing up round one of the battle and fight. I'm going to show some love for Flad because this battle in section has been spot on for Vlad. Yeah, definitely going very, very well. Super impressed with the way that Vlad has been playing this week. Yeah, only a couple of minor hiccups, but you know, no nothing major from both players uh, during this battle in section. Yeah, very impressive. Now as Vlad is on round two, looking at such like such a solid reflection time. Yep, second to last screen of the battle and fight. Vlad looking to close it out. Oh, and Chai taking a death right at the start of round two as Vlad enters his last room. If there's anything Chai wants, it's for Vlad to take a death at the end of this screen. Yeah, this is not a screen you would want to take a death in. And Vlad's and not Vlad. gonna give it to him. No, he's not. Vlad is going for this pace, man. Vlad is looking to get as many points as possible. Wow. I can't remember who Vlad played last week, but even still, what a reflection time. A 536 for Vlad absolutely crazy how do people do that oh and chai he misses the feather but actually loops around and is able to snag it absolutely insane improv from chai and he just is like you know whatever i just did that i don't care <laughs> so maybe maybe we'll see a reaction when he he grabs the final battle in or maybe we'll maybe see. after he skips the cutscene. oh now, there it is he's yeah he's not too happy with this run. Flad now in the final summit, looking at finishing up his run here. I gotta say, uh, massive shout outs to Flad, because I know recently, at least leading up to the league, he was kind of struggling with the mental state, but it just seems, at least with the, oh, and Flad takes a death there. But just seems that with the league starting back up, he's just, you know, seemed to shrug it off. He was able to, oh, and he misses the spring, taking another death there. And one of the longer screens twice near the end, that's definitely going to hurt a little bit. Vlad moving on, though, keeping his cool. I, I feel like Vlad, you know, he, he's putting himself more often in high pressure situations, you know, like league races and stuff. And uh, yeah. I think he's getting more accustomed to the pressure. Definitely and, uh, is. You know, he's, and, uh, he's performing at the, the highest of levels right now, man. Yeah, he is. And very impressive to see this play coming from Flad, And uh, just super great to see him continue to keep his cool, continue to push through. Chai, you know, doing the same. 
both of these guys in a way you, you know you can consider these guys your league veterans being that uh well chai actually competed in the early gsa tournament before the league even happened so uh definitely you know i think Vlad did too so both of these runners are experienced fairly experienced when it comes to the competitive scene in Celeste, hoping to try and continue to build up that experience and not only build up that experience, but continue to try and build up that dominancy. You know, both of these runners, Vlad being the third place runner in season, uh, season one, and then Chai being the fourth place runner. And it looks like we're going to be getting a sync up right I'm... here for the end of Summit. Very nice. Always good to be seeing that. So you all see Chai. I'm Vlad right now. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, we, we got Chai. He's Chai focusing. looks like it looks like he's meditating or something. <laughs> which <it> being positive. <laughs> 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 Love seeing that. Vlad looking to be wrapping up his uh, 1,000 meters as Chai enters his. So still a very commanding lead from Vlad as he enters 1,500. But as we know, 1,500 is a brutal brutal section of summit all right flab with the nice recovery there you know if Flat your movement playing. slips up on these cycles Very you well. uh yeah if your movement slips up on these cycles you uh definitely need to know how to adjust okay yeah that's always one of the things i love to shout out about this game is this game requires so much actually all all of our mainstream games you know you look at Super Mario 64, Super Mario Odyssey, Super Mario Maker, all of them just have, you know, such massive degrees of adaptability that all the runners need to have. Because if something just goes slightly off in any sort of racing situation, you gotta be able to be like, okay, I messed up here, how do I adapt? Literally within sometimes nanoseconds to try and get that figured out. And continue to go and oh chai takes a death in one of the longest sections of 1500 that is definitely not something you want to see happen and Vlad, Vlad's just blazing through oh he accidentally hit the okay. snowball when he didn't mean to all right makes it through all right going for blockless going for the auto scroller skip skip and he's got it first try very well done from Vlad. But yeah, they, these games are so input intensive and so input heavy that like, you know, like Dr. Lex was saying, if, if you mess up, you need to be able to adjust to that in, in the shortest amount of time possible. Yeah. And you know, I always love just, it's probably one of my favorite things when it comes to competitive speedrunning is not necessarily seeing the muscle memory happen because you can see the muscle memory happen in PB attempts. But seeing the adaptability and just the way that the runners are like, oh crap, this just happened and I need to adjust for it now. And they can do just extremely well. Yeah, and with uh, you know, everything on the line here with this race, the stakes are high, uh, nerves might be high, and uh, yeah, you see a lot of things happen in these races from the top runners. Yeah. But okay, Vlad going for key skip. Nice little double wall jump there. Hey yo. And you know, I'm not sure what Vlad's pace is right now, but we could be potentially seeing a 27 from Vlad. I th I think this is more 28. It's gonna uh, be a real. It's probably gonna be a low 28. Alrighty, final screen of 2,500. See, Chai's gonna need Flag to do something here. And something not favorable. Alright, Flag's playing clean though. Makes it! Alright, Flag now in the final stretch of the summit, entering 3,000 meters. Chai coming up on key skip. Right, 
So final 30 flags from Vlad. This Chai is looking to uh, finish up 2,500. And that's two doors skipped for Chai, while Vlad just continues to make this down draft. Oh, and Vlad takes a death, and he doesn't take the safety flag, so that is going to be a couple more seconds lost there. As now Vlad is just zooming through down draft. Yeah, it's looking like Vlad is going for all the usual flag skips that they would go for in PB attempts. So Vlad pulling out, or Vlad pulling out all the stops. Yeah, Chai now looking, entering down draft right now. Kind of gave him a little bit of an eyebrow raise as he enters down draft. Vlad now looking at flag 14. Coming up to everybody's best friend, flag 13. Chai now is, he's absolutely flying through downdraft. And ever since that last death that we pointed out from Flad, he's been having a really clean section. Yeah, he's been playing very well. Chai now looking at, uh, heading up to flag 14 himself, while Flat is up to flag 7, looking at only a little bit left before Flat finishes up. So now, even with this race, Chai looking to get some points, was able to nag 22 points from Marlin with his close loss there last week. So he's probably hoping to get at as many more points as he can get against uh, Flad as well. Speaking of Flad, he is on the final three flags. Just trying to clutch out the final feather movement of the game. Gonna be, s oh, claiming flag two, okay. Flad now coming up on his best flag, flag one being his movement that he is most known for when it comes to the summit. And he wraps up with a 28-22. Very, very good win from Flad to go start off 2-0 in the league after taking a win in his first match. I can't remember who it was against. But now Chai coming up onto flag two, looking to wrap up his race as well. Coming in with looks like to be a low 29. So Alrighty. Chai not too happy with his time. Oh, I guess, you know, kind of accepts the summit time 2903 for him. Still able to snag quite a few points. I think he took... Uh, nope, never mind. He didn't take as many points this time as he did against Marlin, but still a really good race time for him. Just the fact that these guys can consistently bust out sub-30 runs in races, it, it, it still blows my mind. Yeah, Check it is way. absolutely crazy. So definitely GG's to both runners. As, you know, we look into next week, uh, which I don't have the schedule up, so I'm going to get that up quick. I've actually got it. So, uh, so last next week, next Thursday, yeah, we got Black Bear versus Archie Boy. We got Aurora Dash versus Chai. We got Marlin versus Flad. That's going to uh, be an extremely hype match. Absolutely. And uh, we got Programmatic versus, I believe that is Flare Bear, yes. And then we got Sight versus Malay and TGH versus M Sushi. So next week we've got, now we've got Marlin, our up and coming Dominator, going 2-0, and oh, taking a win off of Chai Kitty week one and then a win off of TGH in week two. Uh, very, very impressive for him. And now he's going up against 
uh, Flad, who is, you know, again, being talked about as being one of the massive contenders. And so Marlon could very easily be looking at shutting down a couple of, like, high-named people. And also, next week, we've got TGH versus M Sushi. That's gonna, we're seeing a repeat of the grand finals in week three of the league. Definitely two races you guys are not gonna wanna miss out on next week. Yeah, it's, so, uh, I was gonna say, man, it, dude, it is such a stack. Uh, man, the fact that we've been doing full days of all the Celeste runs back to back to back to back, uh, I, I've been loving these days, man. Oh, it's been so good. I hope all of you guys have been enjoying every single one of these races as much as we have. Uh, well, that is going to do it for all of our mainstream leagues for tonight. Uh, just so you guys know, GSA is not done. They are running 24-7 speedrunning variety content overnight. So please feel free to stick around and watch that. So that way you guys can go ahead and see other world record runs, other tasses, and everything like that. And then tomorrow we are back at, with you guys with a uh, showcase race of Pokemon Rumble between Humitz and JP Zinum. I probably botched all of those pronunciations, but that is going to be a super cool race. So you're gonna to wanna to check that out. And then we have SM64 Division One action tomorrow. So you guys will wanna check that out. But like I said, we got overnight speed running variety content for you guys. But that is going to do it for us here. Dave Stereo, what do you have to say to send these guys off for the night? Well, man, it was just such a pleasure commentating for uh, such high-level players, man. You know, we, we saw some awesome races throughout the day, and uh, yeah, just can't wait for next week. All right, then that is going to do it for both of us here. My name is Zojalix. Make sure you guys follow all of the runners and give them as much support as possible because they deserve it. They put thousands upon thousands of hours into their games. Uh, so please give them all of the support. And with that, we're going to see you guys later. Yeah, peace out, guys.